GE 3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory Pramit Pattern These Pramit Pattern can be printed in Python using simple for loops. First, outer loop is used to handle number of rows and inner loop is used to handle the number of columns. Let's see the program. First, that is program to print half pramid using numbers. That is rows is a variable which is equal to int input of enter number of rows. The input value we got from the user. For that use this input function. The input value will be string in python. It must be converted to integer. For that this int type conversion is used. Next line for loop. For this loop is for rows. I in range of 1 comma rows plus 1. You can see the output. Likewise, there is an enter number of rows. The 5 is given. Okay. So, here what will happen? The 1 comma 5 plus 1. 6 will be given as a range. Then for J. This is a column. J in range of 1 comma I plus 1. The I value will be incremented. Then print J. The column will be printed. For space I have given like this the double quotes space and end. By default if you use a print value print statement you will get the new line. Here I no need to get the new line. I need only the space. For that I use this end is equal to double quotes. Okay. The next line is a print slash end. This is a new line will be created. Before doing this program, you want to know what is range. The range function returns a sequence of number which is starting from 0 by default and which is incremented by 1. That is also default and stops before a specified number. Syntax range of start, stop and step. Okay, what is start? Start is an optional. An integer number that specifying at position to start. If you didn't mention the default it takes as a 0. And stop it is required. An integer number specifying at which position to stop. But that position will not be included for the execution part. Very important note this. That last number will not be included in the execution part. And step is also an optional and integer number specifying the incrementation. By default it will increment it by 1. If you want you can mention. So without the knowledge of range you can't write the program. So before that understand the concept of range. Okay. Then we can move to the program concept. First one that is. Rows equal to int input of enter number of rows. Right. So the rows is equal to enter number of rows. I entered. The user entered 5. So I is equal to row. I is a row. Range of. Range you all know the concept. That start and stop I have given here. Start is a value 1. And stop I have given rows plus 1. That is a 6. Okay. So, the range value will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The 5 will not be included. That is a main concept. The next, J is equal to, J is a column which is equal to range of 1, comma I plus 1. Here first, I value is 1. So, I am mentioning 1 plus 1 is 2. So, range of 1, comma 2. Already I mentioned that end value will not be executed. So, 2 will not be executed. No, before that value 1 will be executed. So, 1 is here. Right. So, print J. J value is 1. That is printed. You can see in the output also. So, 1 is first printed. Next. 
rho incremented by 1. So I value is, is 2. So rho is equal to range of already previously the range is 1 comma 6. Here it is incremented no. So 2 comma 6. Starting value is 2. Ending value is 5. But the ending value will not be included. That is a concept of range. So 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 is the answer. Then J is equal to column will be incremented by 1. Because I have given the condition no. That is I plus 1. Right. So the range is 1 comma I value is 2. You all know. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So the value starts from 1 and ends with 3. But 3 will not be included. Before that 3, 2 is present. So answer is 1 comma 2. Print J. J will be printed. J value is 1 comma 2. So you can see in the output. The second row. 1 comma 2 is printed. The next. The row is incremented by 2. So I value is 3. I is equal to range of 3 comma 6. So answer is 3, 4, 5. 6 will not be included. Then column will also be incremented by 2. So I value is 3, no. 3 plus 1, 4. So 1 comma 4. Answer is 1, 2, 3. J will be printed by using the print statement. So 1, 2, 3 is printed in the third row. Right? You can see in the output also. The next. I is incremented by 1. I value is 4. So I is equal to row. Range of 4 comma 6. So 6 will not be included. Before that 5 is present. 4 comma 5. Then J is equal to column incremented by 3. Column is equal to range of 1 comma I plus 1. I value is 4. This is incremented by 1. So 1 comma 5. So the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 will not be in included. That is the concept of range. Don't forget that. Then print J. J value will be printed. 1, 2, 3, 4. So in the fourth row, 1, 2, 3, 4 is printed. The next, final one. Rho is incremented by 4. So I value is 5. I is equal to rho is equal to range of 5 comma 6. The answer is 5. Column also incremented by 4. So column is equal to range of 1 comma I value is 5. No. So 5 plus 1. So range is 1 comma 6. So 6 will not be incremented. Included. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Print J. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be printed in the last row. Right. So now you all know the concept of how to print the half premied. Let's see this. Already I have printed the numbers. You can print these half premied as a by using a star. Same thing here instead of that number in the program what you have written that is J. The column value is printed. Instead of this J, same program, no changes. Instead of the J, star is present. So all the values will be star will be printed. The same concept. Okay. And next program the half premier using alphabets. Same thing. We are going to print alphabets. For alph alphabets, we need to assign the value. ASCII value, A value is 65. You all know that. Okay. So, ASCII value is initialized. The starting value 65 is initialized. The next for loop is used. This is for row. And for a J in range of 1 comma I plus 1. That is for column. The next. This alphabet is a number. I initialize like a number, no? That wants to be converted to character. A, B, C is a character. For that you want to use. You want to use the type conversion that is a CAR. C, H, R. Okay. 
or of access value that will be passed here after the conversion it will be stored in the variable alphabet then that alphabet will be printed after printing the that ascii value will be incremented by 1 because we are going to print a starting value from a then b c d e likewise we are going to print no so it will be incremented so finally you will get the output a in the first row b in the second row c in the third row fourth row d and fifth row will be e that half premise using alphabet so the next program to print fill premise using star how you are going to print the fill premise first row is equal to int input of enter number of rows these value get the value from the user for that this input function is used okay then for i in range of 0 comma rows this is for row this for loop for row and next the space is needed no for that also you want to write in the program for space in range of 0 comma rows minus i minus 1 the next print end is equal to this space okay then next for j this is a column 0 comma i plus 1 same concept only only here we have mentioned that space okay let's see that concept of executing first the rows is equal to 4 is entered by the user okay then i is equal to range of 0 comma rows based on the program only i am going to explain so listen properly i is equal to range of 0 comma rows which is equal to 0 comma 4 this is a user entered number 4 so 0 to 4 means already i explained the concept of range starting from 0 up to 3 the fourth element will not be executed so 0 1 2 3 is taken and space space equal to range of 0 comma rows minus i minus 1 so 0 comma 4 minus 0 minus 1 you will get the answer 0 comma 3 so finally 0 1 2 will be taken the next one this is for column range of 0 comma i plus 1 which is equal to range of 0 comma 0 plus 1 which is equal to 0 comma 1 so the last value will not be included so answer is 0 in the 0th position you want to print the star before that see the space ok that is first i is equal to 0 so first row we have taken the first row ok that is a first line concept and second want to give three spaces no for that 0 1 2 j is equal to 0 1 2 will be the spaces is given for that also program written and finally in that is a star will be printed the column is mentioned after the space the star will be printed next the i will be incremented so i will be 1 space will be so i is equal to 1 that column that row you can take it ok then space is 0 comma 1 2 spaces you want to give 2 space i have given and then star will be printed ok two spaces i have given star will be printed then space end is equal to double quotes i have given so this space will come then the loop will go to j only because now the j is having two values no j is having 0 comma 1 first 0 is executed then 1 wants to be executed so uh, while executing this one one more star will be printed then end is equal to double quotes. This so space is there. No problem. Then finally there is a in the program. 
I mentioned that print. This will move to the new line. If you see the space, then it will be moved to the new line. The next, i is incremented, that i is equal to 2. First line for that only, then space. Space is a 0. One space is given, that is enough. After this one space is given, the star will be printed. The column is 3 column, uh, three times it will be executed. After one single space, one more star will be printed. After one single space, one more star will be printed. After seeing the space, it will move to the new line. In the new line, finally I value will be 3. Then space is 0. No space is needed. Directly the star will be printed. The concept is after star printed, one space wants to be there. The next, you want to see the column J. Four times it wants to be executed. So next, one star is executed. Then one space, star is executed. Then one, one space, star will be printed. Finally, new line will come. Okay, this is the concept of printing the fill premied using star. Now, let's move to the lab program. Exercise number 3C, premied pattern. A. To write a python program to print premied pattern. Algorithm. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Get the height of the premied. That is a rows from the user. Step 3. Outer loop will print number of rows. Step 4. Inner loop will print the value of i after each iteration. Step 5. Inner loop to handle the number of columns. Step 6. Values in changing according to the outer loop. Step 7. Printing numbers. Step 8. Ending line after each row. Step 9. Stop the program. Let's see the program. Lab program. Rows equal to int. Input of enter number of rows. Get this input value from the user. Then for i in range, that is this for loop for rows. And for j in range of 1 comma i plus 1, this is for this for loop for column. Then the jth value will be printed. After that space will be given. For that end is equal to double quotes is given. Then finally print slash n. That new line will be printed. This is a output for that program. Enter number of rows. 5 is given. This is a half premed. Let's see these execution in Python. In the description box, I have given the link. That is how to install Python. You can refer that. Now open portable Python. Open ideally portable. Click run. The Python shell will be opened. Then click the file, new window. Here you can start typing the program. After type the program, click the file, save, give the file name. Here I have given. Premiere, then click save, then click run, run module, enter number of rows, here I will give 5, this is a half premiere, is executed successfully. Result, thus the python program to print premiere was written and executed successfully. I hope you all understood the concept of premiere pattern. That is how to write the fill premiere, half premiere by using a numbers, by using a star, by using alphabets. Okay. Thank you all.